A mad rush for countries who are seeking to join BRICS, with about 40 countries already making inquiries and 20 countries making formal requests to become members. It raises questions about why so many countries are in a hurry to earn full membership. Well, let's delve deeper into two reasons. First, it's clear the amount of influence that BRICS countries exude remains a major factor in determining reasons why it's now hot cake for most countries. BRICS countries occupy 42% of the world population, representing 20% of global trade. So why won't others want to join? Well, secondly, BRICS offers a safe haven from potential risks on reliance on the dollar. Essentially, the forum seeks to broaden in the opportunity of its members trading in their own currencies amongst themselves as against the U.S. dollar. In fact, this is already happening. Russia and India are doing trade using local currencies. India has signed agreements with over 18 countries to trade with those countries using local currencies. Now, the analysis there that you must make, or the distinction, or you must connect the dots. If more countries were to trade using local currencies, the impact on that one currency that you were talking about that is up to now defined global trade is going to be huge. Basically, when the economy is performing well, the more it becomes attractive to investors around the world. However, investors will need the dollar to trade, putting the dollar in high demand. And this is what BRICS intends to break away from, and the reason why other countries are seeking to join as well. It only attests to one thing, the burning desire for a level playing ground, which many believe has been a dear disadvantage for years. Now, that being said, Ghana is not part of the country seeking to join BRICS, although it trades more with BRICS nations compared to the USA and some of the major Western partners as well. Certainly, the improved economy of BRICS countries would impact Ghana's economy if the trade relations continue as it is now. Africans in particular should be excited about the opportunities that BRICS avails to our continent. South Africa does not speak for itself only, we speak for the continent. The opportunities are many. But let's not forget that leading more to BRICS will affect Ghana's important relations with the West, and that certainly would not be in Ghana's interest. So just maybe Ghana is at a crossroads. Judith Awachitando, TV3 News, Johannesburg, South Africa.